Oh, hello, this is Vacek. I would like to talk to you today about the article that I read in the Journal of Environment Management on the subject of white LED lights and melatonin. It appears that the exposure of humans to white LED bulbs suppresses melatonin production up to a factor of five compared to the exposure to to the older high pressure sodium bulbs that give off a very characteristic yellow orange light and the suppression factor actually depends very much on the wavelength and since the led lights actually are not exactly white lights but are kind of bluish because the blue light is generated first in those bulbs and then the that high energy light is converted to white light so there's still a very large component of the blue light and this is the this is the component that actually is is responsible for the melatonin suppression uh, yellow orange lights uh, generated by the uh, sodium bulbs uh, do not have that property and melatonin is a compound that is responsible in human for the operation of the biological clock and also has anti antioxidant and anti-cancerous properties the white light as i already mentioned uh, generates blue light on the spectrum emitted at wavelengths of 440 to 500 nanometers and suppress it suppresses uh, the melatonin production in the brain's pineal gland and suppression of the melatonin may be responsible for the behavior disruptions and other health problems also the metal halide bulbs which you see very often in stadiums in big stadiums to illuminate the stadiums uh, also have that property but they reduce the melatonin production by factor of three compared to the old sodium bulbs the sodium bulbs actually generate a yellow or yellow orange light and they are the safest so far however they are being replaced by the lights that are more efficient and led lights actually are more efficient however they have that unpleasant property of the melatonin suppression so if you see some humans and also animals this this also happens in animals some zombie humans or zombie animals walking around the uh, new led lights then you know what happened and obviously now the question is what do you do if something like this happens if you i'm sure some of you are already using those lights at home then obviously the best way is to limit exposure. Actually, they are using very they are used very often in the uh, studios where videos are produced because they they look quite quite good and uh, it may create some unusual behavior <laughs> among actors. <laughs> and. I, Obviously, turning off those lights when not in use is, is the way to limit exposure. Okay, I think that was interesting. Uh, the fluorescent lights, actually, which are now av available, I do not know if they have the same uh, bad property if the LED lights, because there is nothing in this article like you mentioned about the fluorescent bulbs, because there are lots of of those new bulbs and they are very efficient and they are reasonably priced actually they are much cheaper than the led bulbs i believe they are not as efficient as the led bulbs but they some of them had been around essentially the, the mechanism the properties are exactly the same as those in the uh, that in, in, uh, that we used in bulbs a long long time ago they have slightly different shape and they look much cooler much better and actually they are produced in different color temperatures so you can choose whatever you want and they look pleasant however i must look around around and figure out what is happening with them if there was any study done about those fluorescent lights and the 
melatonin suppression. If I find something, then I'll try to record. Okay, so this is probably it for now. Thank you for watching. This is Vacek. Bye-bye.